Our next story focuses on Japan. It is making a sharp pivot away from pacificism. Tokyo is building up its war machine, upgrading airports and ports, and selling lethal weapons to allies. We'll start with the latest announcement which came today. Tokyo wants to expand some of its vital infrastructure. It has identified 16 airports and ports. These will serve as staging areas for Japan's self-defense forces and the Japanese Coast Guard. In Japan, they don't have an army. They call it a self-defense force. And our facilities are being upgraded for it. A green light from the cabinet is expected soon. The airports will be equipped with longer runways. The ports will get more facilities so that the Coast Guard can use them for supplies. Basically, these are military-level upgrades. It's not clear which facilities will get them, but reports say ports and airports in Hokkaido and Okinawa will be upgraded. And these regions are home to the Naha Airport and the Ishigaki Port. Both are strategically important. They're positioned close to the Taiwan Strait. It's a region gripped by tensions, the Taiwan Strait. China challenges Taiwan routinely. It sends warships and warplanes to the Taiwan Strait. Should China decide to invade, the Taiwan Strait will turn into a battleground, and Japan recognizes this threat. So it's building up deterrence against Chinese aggression. Tokyo is also helping its friends do the same. Earlier this week, it made up made another major shift. Japan is now ready to sell fighter jets to the world. These decisions are based on Japan's security environment. And in order to realize a fighter aircraft that meets the necessary performance and to avoid jeopardizing the defense of Japan, it is necessary to transfer finished products from Japan to countries other than partner countries. The review was based on the recognition that we need to secure a position where we can contribute equally to the UK and Italy. Now, in the global arms bazaar, such defense deals are common, but for Japan, this would be a first. In the past, such exports were banned, but now Japan has unveiled a new policy. It allows the export of lethal weapons, although under strict conditions. Japan will sell weapons only to its defense allies, to countries that have a defense pact with them. Plus, these countries should not be involved in a war. And each transaction will require a cabinet approval. These new rules will pave the way for Japan to sell a new fighter jet. It's called the Tempest. Three countries are developing this warplane, the Tempest. There is Japan, of course. And then there is the United Kingdom and Italy. Now, reports say this jet will have technologies like artificial intelligence and advanced sensors to help pilots. But the Tempest won't be operational anytime soon. Experts predict it will be deployed only by 2035. So there are still 11 years to go. Yet China is already worried. China noted the report and expressed serious concerns over this. Given Japan's history of militarist aggression, Japan's military and security moves have been closely watched by its Asian neighbors and the international community. China is referring to Japan's role in the Second World War. That's when Japan was an imperialist force. It had joined forces with the Axis powers led by Hitler's Germany. The war did not end well for Japan. It was forced into submission and attacked with nuclear bombs. The US dropped these bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, and this is what ended the World War. It also led to the birth of a pacifist Japan. Their constitution renounces war. It says Japan will never have a military force, which is why they do not have an army but a self-defense force. Over the past few years, we've seen a visible dilution of this stand, though, because Japan's threat perception has changed. It looks at China's military expansion with alarm. It fears that a strong PLA could encircle Japan. And these concerns are shared by Japan's allies, too. Hence the preparation, hence the policy changes. Tokyo is well within its rights to respond to these threats. And these new strategic initiatives are a step in the right direction.